Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I have a project share for Scrap Diva Designs. This is featuring her Popsicle gift box set, which is right here. And I created a Halloween themed Popsicle box. And the main element to do that is you just need some white cardstock and you need to use the full length of this Popsicle, um, this melty part of the Popsicle. So in the previous project that I made, can see that the melty part of the popsicle usually a lot of the crafters decorate the top of the gift box with it and in this case you just want to use white cardstock and this from the lowest part of the drip to the top of the box is five inches sorry about all the little scarring on my um, project here it's my cutting plates are need to be replaced um, so yeah this is a five inch strip of paper that you'll need and it will be the entire width. I think I actually um, uh, left another half inch to the side so that I could do some overlap only because I have a black cardstock box here. So if you use white cardstock, you probably you don't need to do this little extra overhang, which I um, did there. So yeah, you just create the gift box as you normally would. And I use the Frank Garcia 31 collection. It's all double-sided paper, so you, know, you don't have to really worry about doubling up on paper. I also use some basil Swiss dot paper there. And the popsicle stick here is decorated with some tinsel thread, which is from Hobby Lobby. This is um, a little bow cut from five millimeter foam. And that bow is cut using another Scrap Diva die set. And let me just show that here. So sometimes the drippy parts kind of hang up. up box from sliding in. So um, that bow is created using this skull die set and the mouth of this ghost is actually created using a heart from the skull. So I actually cut that out of the five millimeter foam here and then I popped it out to create the mouth for it. So it's kind of a kawaii looking face. Um, the eyes are punched out using just uh, a hole punch, like a standard hole punch. And I cut it using this craft paper or scrap of paper here. So you can see the stars and the eyes there. This rosette is just made using some leftover paper, like the top strip, the selvage from a paper pad. Used a heart craft punch there. And this tool is from Dollar Tree from a couple years ago. So yeah, that's my project share today. Hope this inspires you. Please follow hashtag Scraptiva Designs for other project inspiration, and I'll have both these die sets linked below. So have a great day. Thanks again for visiting. Bye.